you've got to wake up early. I don't mean just on weekdays, I mean every day. You've got to value work more than you value sleep. Changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging, it's hard. Very few people are willing to endure the pain and sacrifice of what it takes to be great. They settle for average. Average is dangerous. Average is for the weak. Some of you are lying to yourself. You say you want to be great. You say you want to get to the next level. You say you want to be the best in your class or the best in your school. You want to do great things. But your actions don't match your words. There are those of you with phones. And every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, but you're not upgrading yourself. You've got to invest in yourself. Don't let yourself be average. The average wastes their lives away every weekend for what? Not me. I'm in charge of my own life. Everything in my own life that I'm not happy with is my own fault. I take responsibility. You will never hear me complain about my circumstances as the reason I'm not where I want to be. If I don't like where I am, I'll work harder. I am a perfect reflection of the hard work or a lack of work I put in. Your commitment and obsession should always be to be better today than you were yesterday. When you look at the lives of the greatest men and women the world has produced, one thing is common among them all. You see relentless, sickening work ethic. To get to the top, you have to skip hanging out with friends, watching TV, and wasting your time on meaningless things. Great students marry their books. They hustle for knowledge, just as billionaires hustle for opportunities. While others are sleeping, they're working. While others are playing video games, they're learning. When others are out drinking and doing other things that don't count, they're studying. Learn from them. Follow in their footsteps. Stand on the shoulders of giants. Get a head start. Go grab your books, go to the library, and start exploring the world. My mother told me that readers are leaders, and that has proved itself today. If you go through life just trying to stay comfortable, life will send you more and more discomfort. You'll get more and more problems. Life will keep trying to drag you down. And because most people are so concerned about staying comfortable instead of growing and reaching higher because they don't want to move beyond their limitations, they keep struggling. Do you think Bill Gates started Microsoft feeling comfortable about it? Do you think Usain Bolt slept his way to becoming the fastest man? Do you think Will Smith procrastinated his way to the top? Of course not. They worked. If you think that things are going to fall into place magically, if you think you will do it later, if you keep procrastinating, if you are waiting for that perfect time, you are deceiving yourself. You have to create that perfect time. When are you going to stand up and start hustling? I have met students who are lazy. Students that bask in that euphoria that everything is going to be okay in the end. Students who do nothing to change things. Students that only dream. Students who have only wishes. This time, and you're going to tell your teachers, your classmates, that here I come. I have come to win, to excel, to look down on my weaknesses and make them my strengths. Turn off the phone, the TV, and the laptop. I'm heading to the library. You are heading for success. You are heading for greatness. It's in your hands. How much more time are you willing to waste? How much more time are you willing to burn? Wake up. Wake up. If you have to make sacrifices to be where you want to be, so be it. If you have to tell your friends you can't go out drinking with them anymore, so be it. You are not average. Do you want to see average? Look out the window. Everyone you see, they're average. Not you. That's not you.